Welcome to ECE 480L, the Senior Design Schedule Laboratory. Before I go over the background material for this lab experiment, let me give you a little bit of an overview of what this project is about, how you're going to participate in it, and how we're going to grade it. A color organ is an electronic device that divides sound into several bands of frequencies and modulates color lights depending on the frequency content of the music. Color organs have been around since the 1960s and they mostly use analog filters to divide the incoming sounds into distinct bands of frequencies. We use things called SCRs to control the line voltage that was applied to incandescent lamps. With the advent of microcontrollers, we can accomplish some of these same functions with much less hardware and much lower voltages. We also have the ability to reconfigure and tune our design after assembly. So if things aren't working exactly the way we want, we can make changes in the software. This project does have some analog circuitry so that we can provide DC power to our circuit. We'll also have a microphone input and a stereo line input. We'll also need to do some analog filtering to limit the bandwidth of our sampling frequency. We're going to do our frequency selectivity in the microcontroller with digital filters and our output will be driving a bank of LEDs. There will also be a digital automatic gain control to allow the color organ to adjust itself to varying music levels. Let me explain how we're going to organize the lab. This lab is going to be a little bit different than our past labs in that we're going to ask you to work alone. We're doing this so that you can refresh your lab skills and help prepare you for the capstone design experience. The parts that you need to do this project are available in the ECE shop in room 3234 of the engineering building. If you come by during business hours, you can sign out a storage box and what's in this box are all of the cables and most of the parts you're going to need to build a digital color organ along with some of the tools. If you damage or lose any of the contents of this storage box, you'll be required to replace them by ordering the parts online and then having them shipped to you. At the end of this project, you'll be able to keep the digital color organ. We're going to ask you to return some of the tools and we've indicated this in section five of the lab experiment. We're always concerned about safety in our labs, but particularly because this is going to be an open lab, we want you to wear safety glasses or some kind of eye protection whenever you're in lab. If you fail to do this, uh, we're going to do spot checks and we'll, we'll lower your weekly lab report grade by 1% for every instance that we find that you're not wearing these glasses. Lab stations 1 through 8 will be available uh, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, by having you sign up for this online. We'll also have lab stations 9 through 13 available on a first come first serve basis. Although you're working alone, it's important that we have at least two people in the lab at any time. So if there's any kind of an accident or a problem, there's another person available to call for help. In this part of the course, we're going to ask you to purchase a Baum Lab Notebook. In this lab and the upcoming labs, you'll be asked many questions and you'll be asked to measure and calculate many things. You must record these responses in your personal Baum Lab Notebook. This is done to make sure that things are working correctly and to help you understand how the digital color organ works. It's also a great place to record some of your design ideas. The content of this lab notebook will be used for some of the questions we'll have on our lab exam, and you can find the date of this in the syllabus for the course. We're actually not going to collect this lab notebook and give it a grade, but if there are some issues that we need to resolve, we may ask you to turn it in. We also ask you to not share your information with anyone in the course, and not to post the results or pieces of what you're doing on the web. In this lab and upcoming labs, there'll be things that we'll have you turn in as a lab report. You'll find the template at the end of this lab and the following labs whenever you have to do something like this. The emphasis on this part of the course is really to get things to work. Don't really care about the steps leading up to it. So you'll find that these weekly lab reports are very, very short, just a few pages. Once you've completed the digital color organ, we're going to ask you to demonstrate it to the lab TA. There'll also be a formal lab report that explains how this, how this digital color organ works and how you've improved uh, its performance. Let's now go back to the beginning of this lab with the lab lecture notes.